in this video we are going to see the creation of donut chart in tableau the donut chart is very similar in look uh, with a pie chart and its functionality is also similar to a pie chart but the thing is that pie chart is supported by tableau while the donut chart is not so uh, we are going to see that how can we create a donut chart from a pie chart in tableau right so first of all let me just show you the creation of a pie chart and what for what purpose it is used so let's just create a new sheet and name it as a pie chart okay so if you just go to this tab here is the option of a pie chart the minimum requirements is one or more dimensions and one or two measures right so let's just get the category wise sales so it's category and sales let's just control click both of them and select the pie chart from here right so it would be created let's just get category and the sales value uh, sorry just a second let's just clear the sheet get the category here uh, and get the sales into here and just now change it into a pie chart right now we can just select the entire view so this is what we are getting the category wise sales uh, let's just get the labels uh, the sales value into the labels as well and we are again going to get the sales value into the labels but this time what i'm going to do is just go to the percentage of total so this shows me the total percentage uh, by each category so furniture 32 percent uh, office supplies 31 percent and the remaining 36.3 percent by the technology category okay this is a pie chart let's just create a donut chart out of those same parameters so the steps are going to be a little bit complex because it is not a basic chart type supported by tableau so i request you to please pay attention first of all what we're going to do is in this rows column i'm just going to double click and i'm going to create two parameters with just min one value okay just like this i'm just going to create another min one like this okay then i'm just going to go to dual axis to just you know combine them together now this measure names kind of a parameter would be there which we can just hide over here and just select the entire view now what we are getting is this kind of a circle and these three panes the all pane the min one and the min two pane go to the upper min pane and instead of automatic let's just select a pie now we need to provide two things the category and the sales values just like we did in the previous one so let's just get the category into the colors portion go to the size and increase the size a little bit a little bit more just like this okay now what i'm gonna do is um just get this second one go to the color and edit its color to let's say white okay we can click on okay so this is how our donut chart is created this is a donut chart right as you can see it's just similar to a pie chart but with a hole in the between so that makes it a donut chart what uh, is the size that you want you can just control it using the size parameter like this okay now this is not on the basis of anything right like it is just the category you want it on the basis of sales so what we are going to do is just drag the sales and drop it into the angles part so you can see now uh, we are getting the sales value over here let's just get the labels here and uh, what we are going to do is in this we are going to select the percent of total like this and what i'm going to do is just um work with it right so this is how it's being shown in the tooltip i'm just going to remove this min one so that uh no one knows about our little trick click on okay so this is how it's been shown to us this is how we create a donut chart in tableau even when it is not supported now we just uh, colored this circle as white but if you provide a color to your sheet as a whole then you can create it like that as well so that it matches with the background this is how the donut chart is created now let's just create another chart and that is a uh, multiple shapes chart 
multiple shapes chart so what we are going to do in this is we are going to combine two charts together okay the two charts would be showing uh, similar data or the same information they would be conveying but they would be like a combination of different shapes and with the combination of different shapes we can use these charts to depict the data in a more visually appealing fashion so the thing that we are going to create basically is a lollipop chart that means there would be a circle on the top and a stick um, that goes from the circle all the way to the axis that means uh, there would be two shapes that would be used a line or uh, basically a bar and a circle or a bubble right let's see how we do that first of all what we need to do is select our parameters so let's just get subcategory and sales okay so this is how the bars are created let's just get the entire view okay now what we're going to do is uh, we are going to create uh, different shapes in this chart only right so what we're going to do is let's just get sales again and bring it into the rows these are the two charts that have been created you can see sales and sales 2 now this top one uh, instead of automatic let's just select circle these are the circles that we are getting now in this bottom one what I'm going to do is just decrease the size a little bit so that instead of the bars, they resemble the shape of the um, sticks for the lollipops, right? Then what we are going to do is right click, click on dual axis. Actually, uh, now you can see the things, uh, the bars have been removed. Only the circles are being shown, right? So what we do is go to this uh, pane, uh, this bottom pane that is some sales too instead of automatic let's just select bar so the bars would be created just like this and this is uh, how a lollipop chart looks in case you want to change its colors you can do that as well uh, let's just go with the black color for the um, bars and for the bubbles let's just go with an orange uh, in case you want to change its position you can just drag and drop them or just swap the values over here okay uh, you can just bring them in the front or in the back by swapping the values just like this right so yeah now it is looking good that uh, it is kind of a lollipop chart just like this you can combine different shapes like suppose instead of a circle uh, let's just go into the shapes pane and here we would be having different shapes like this okay so just like this you can create it as a combination of different shapes different uh like these are the arrows that have been created if you just go on to increase the size a little bit these are the arrows that have been created so just like this you can create a combination of different shapes uh maximum two shapes for yourself to create charts just like this suppose you are creating a data you have a data set of the olympics and you want to show some data about the archers then these kind of arrows would be much more visually appealing to depict the information than just simple lines right so this depends upon the data set that you are using and your creativity of how you can combine the different shapes to create the chart that is best suited for your reports as a whole so I hope you all understood these basics and let's just throw in one other thing suppose we want to add a hierarchy let's just add the category as well category and subcategory so you can see we can add hierarchies as well there would be no change uh, and just like a normal chart we can work with this chart uh, we can do anything that we can do in a normal bar chart we can do in this chart as well right so there is no difference uh, we can if you want to add a reference line we can do that as well let's just see to add a reference line i want to add a reference line entire table okay so you can see the reference line is being added okay just like this it's been added uh, so you can just go with it or you can just remove it whatever you want you can just remove it in order to remove a reference line you just create uh, click on it and then there is this option to remove it so you can just remove this reference line as this 
so that's all for this video in which we learned about the creation of the donor chart and the multiple shapes chart in tableau thanks for watching